Welcome back to off. <laughs> so last time, we saw the end of the game. There is, however, just a little bit more for us. The first thing we're doing is, of course, going back. And instead of taking the bat, we are going to take the Ares card. I do not know if this will get you the secret ending or not. But for now, we're going to see what happens if we side with the judge. The judge, of course, thinking that he can take the batter anyway. <laughs> And that is quite the interesting look of the batter. You may recall that Sugar referred to us as a duck. And there are a few explanations as to why. One of which is that Sugar saw this when attacking. The other is that she was simply referring to the duck bill on the batter's hat and taking the duck from that. That said, is this what the batter actually looks like? No. Um, we've seen throughout the game thus far, people have been able to, or we have, as the batter, been able to walk around, speak to random civilians. We look like a normal person. The reason we appear like this is because right now, this is how the judge sees us, or sees the batter. Which is something inter an interesting uh, something to think of, because this is something that I've, I think I've mentioned before in RPGs in general, which is bosses even if it's just a normal person, a normal human just like you, you get into battle and they may have some large, elaborate combat sprite. Does that mean that they are actually six times your size? No. You simply understand the intensity of the situation. This is how menacing and intimidating they are to you. What you are seeing is almost never what they actually look like, but instead how you see them. Now, admittedly, large monsters probably just look like large monsters. So when you see a large monster, that doesn't mean it's actually not a large monster, but especially in situations where two things don't necessarily match, this is probably why. Now what can the judge do? So I think these are all of the judge's moves that he could use while we were fighting him. So low, average, considerable, incredible impact, and can inflict various status effects. I'm going to make an attempt to poison, because I don't know if that's a thing that will work, but I'm going to try. And of course now, without our help, the batter is having a much harder time hurting the judge. 
Um, since all we can do is inflict status effects, which I may just have done, and do damage, I'm going to opt for doing the biggest damage I can. Now, okay, they are indeed poison, and I cannot target anything else here, but apparently within this combat, or within this fight, there are actually three entities for our add-ons, but they don't actually contribute to the fight, um, which means perhaps they had originally intended them to be part of the fight and opted not to? Given how RPG Maker works, I'm not really even sure how kind of a phantom entity like that would even work. I wonder if the judge's stats are based on our own. This is interesting because I feel like him saying this does not mean that he succeeded enough anyway. I believe this means that even if he had not intervened, everything was already lost. I think another reason that I don't believe that this is taking place entirely within Hugo's mind, or what have you, is because the after Hugo is killed, the world still exists. Which you could say is what Hugo had created. Or perhaps the purified world is what existed before Hugo started making changes to it. That's hard to say, if perhaps the purified world is actually all that's left of the normal world. At which point, Flipping the switch, what exactly would flipping the switch off imply if this is the natural state of the world? Flipping the switch off would effectively destroy the world. It would, it would be turning off reality. But a reality that would still exist even without Hugo and existed before Hugo. No. I find it hard to believe that at perhaps the color of each area was there by its direct connection to its zone leader, of which Hugo was technically the leader of the room's zone. But I do believe that the individual areas were still created in some way or another. Or perhaps reality at this point is too far bent and gone. It's best to simply wipe the slate clean and start over. So, if you have the Ares card, it does give you... It says the game's true ending, but it's a joke ending.
with the space apes. I wonder if the implication here is that we were told what to do and to help the batter by the apes. I think that the end needed a question mark after it, just to, like, absolutely top off the ham. I feel like... I mean, it's obviously a joke ending. It was a design... It's kind of in reference to, like, the UFO endings from, like... What was it? Silent Hill? Was it Silent Hill? Anyway. Um, that is it for Off. It leaves you plenty of room to think and interpret. You know what? You probably did last time, but let me know what you guys think of this. How wrong do you think I am? What's going on? I want to hear theories. Until next time, everyone.